continuing our conversation with Congressman Steve Russell and want to pivot over to Oklahoma. We have the budget deficit. We've had the second special session. Teachers now threatening to walk out of the classrooms on April 2nd. What say you on the state of the state right now? Where are we? Well, I think where we need to be is you know, having dialogue instead of retreating to our political corners. And I'm concerned about it. You know, I mean, federally in Washington, obviously a lot of these issues we don't we don't have the power over, nor would we want mm -hmm. that. These are state issues. For example, teachers' salaries, uh, you know, the, the budget for the state, that's all done by state lawmakers rather than our federal delegation in Washington. But I think it's important uh, that we realize that there's a finite amount of resources, and then we have to look at what do we prioritize. Obviously, education is very important. And so as we look at the resources that are available, we, we have to be willing to make cuts so teachers can be supported. We have to look at reducing expenditures and other nice to have programs so that our fire and uh, police uh, are properly funded. And, mm -hmm. and so we look at those core things that all Oklahomans say are the most important. Not everything can be the most important. And so I think what we see is that these important services are suffering uh, because we've just not been able to look at, at how we manage good government. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to make a priority list because everyone sure. you know, views that completely differently. Right. Let's do, I know you are at the federal level, but we sure. did have a couple yeah. of you know, viewer oh, questions yeah. come yeah, in. Let's get to, to yeah. Kip. Kip says, yeah. how much waste in programs can be cleaned up to put yeah. money into education for our teachers? Yeah. And a lot of people yeah. concerned about yeah. this area Yeah, well, and that's part of the honest conversation. And that's a great question. Because when I was in the state Senate, uh, we dealt with a lot of these issues. There is a lot of waste. In mm -hmm. fact, federally, when we did the uh, Every Student Succeeds Act, one of the things that we tried to do to save on waste was to block grant funds straight down to the states so that then they could distribute the funds appropriately. Before that, you had stovepipe programs and maybe schools didn't need that program, but they would start one anyway just to get the funds. And it was a waste. Uh, the other thing is our school lunch programs. While we certainly have some benefit from uh, certain things on that, 37% of all of that food goes in the dumpster. So we have to find ways like that, that that we can stop doing that. I mean, if if you know you're running a business and and 37% of what you're trying to do ends up in the trash, you, you're you, not in a good spot. You're not in a good spot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this my producer just got this call back yeah. in the newsroom. This is from a viewer too. So let's pop this one up. This is from who's this from? Well, I don't have a name, but we're going to ask okay. the question anyway. What is the government doing for nursing homes across the United yeah. States and specifically in Oklahoma, who's ranked 49th in the nation? What do you say to that? Well, I think the uh, the federal uh, responsibility for that, again, a lot of these are state controlled mm -hmm. homes and they are state funded. The federal government has uh, some matching funds and assistance that go to that. I think one of the things that would be helpful uh, to us on the Oversight and Government Reform Committee is <clears throat> when we see uh, waste or we see uh, abuse, uh, we see uh, improper management, when those things get reported, it helps us to apply the law and to tailor the law so that, that we improve the care that's in those nursing homes. Last question to you. You know, we just have a few seconds left in the interview, but 2018 is a huge year for us sure. here in yeah. Oklahoma. <clears throat> uh, you know, end of the year, we're going to decide a new governor too. Are you endorsing any specific candidate? And what do you think the future of Oklahoma well, needs to look like? Uh, you know, hopefully we can uh, keep with the great things that we've seen uh, at federal level. We're seeing real progress. Our tax reform has been enormous and a big boon to Oklahoma uh, with uh, companies uh, like Express, Walmart, uh, so many different things in our aerospace industry, uh, military. We've seen a lot of benefit uh, from tax reform and people see it in their everyday paychecks. Everybody kind of got a little bump, you know, in February and that was uh, very encouraging. Uh, with regard to most of the state races, I try to stay out of them, but in, in the case of Governor, uh, a longtime friend of mine, Todd Lamb, who I knew even before I got into any kind of politics, uh, mm -hmm. Secret Service agent, uh, you know, great background. And I know Todd uh, uh, very well, and I have endorsed him. Okay. Yeah. He's got your vote. Yeah. Well, Congressman, thank you so much yeah. for, for coming to yeah, be with us bet. in the studio. We really do appreciate your time. You bet. Because we no, know it's that my pleasure. You are yeah. wildly crazy yeah. right now and busy, yeah. so we appreciate yeah. it.